Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to prepare a non-routable domain for Microsoft Entra Connect to Sync. Microsoft Entra Connect is an essential tool for syncing on premises Active Directory with Microsoft Entra ID. When synchronizing your on premises directory with Microsoft Entra ID, a verified domain in Microsoft Entra ID is required. Only the user principal names associated with the on premises Active Directory are synchronized. However, any UPN containing an unroutable domain such as .local will be synchronized to an .onmicrosoft.com domain. Non-doubtable domains are domains that cannot be accessed over the internet. These domains are typically used in internal networks or isolated environments. A common example is .local domains. When working with non-routable domain names, additional configuration steps are required to ensure successful synchronization. We can resolve this issue by either changing the primary domain name in our on premises Active Directory or by adding one or more UPN suffixes. The simplest way to resolve the non-routable domain issue is by registering a new UPN suffix or suffixes in on premises Active Directory to match the verified domain name in Microsoft Entra ID. After registering the new UPN suffix, you update the user's UPN by replacing the .local with the new domain name. For example, so that a user account looks like Vishal at msftwebcast.in. Once you have updated the UPNs to use the verified domain, you are ready to synchronize your on-premises Active Directory with Microsoft Entra ID. In this example, we have single domain Active Directory forest msftwebcast.local. This is a root domain controller for the msftwebcast.local domain running on Windows Server 2019. In the first step, we will add the new UPN suffix to match the domain verified in Microsoft Entra ID. In Server Manager, click on Tools and select Active Directory Domains and Trust. Alternatively, you can open the Run menu, type domain.msc and press Enter. Right-click Active Directory Domains and Trust and then choose Properties. In the Alternative UPN Suffixes box, type your new UPN suffix. You can add multiple suffix if required. Click on Add. To save the changes, click on Apply. Choose OK when you are done adding suffix. Open the Run menu, type dsa.msc and press Enter to open Active Directory Users and Computers. Select a user, right-click and then choose Properties. Go to the Account tab. On the Account tab, in the UPN suffix drop-down list, choose the new UPN suffix. In this example, I am going to select the UPN suffix amaceptivewebcast.in. Now this user's UPN is Akshay at msftwebcast.in. Click OK to save the changes. You need to complete these steps for each user you want to synchronize with Microsoft Entra ID. Alternatively, you can use PowerShell to change the UPN suffix for all your users at once. If you have many user accounts to update, using PowerShell is more efficient. Use the get ad user and set ad user CM deletes to change all msftwebcast.local suffixes to msftwebcast.in in this active directory. Open Windows PowerShell with administrative rights. Let's get the list of all the active directory users whose suffix contains msftwebcast.local. We need to run this command to create a variable with the name local users. Press Enter key. Let's press Enter key to see the result of this variable. Uh, let me use format list cmdelete as well. These are the users whose UPN contains msftwebcast.local. Now let's use sat ad user command with this variable to change the user principal name of these users. Let's copy the second command. This command will replace msftwebcast.local to msftwebcast.in for the selected users. Let's press enter key to run the cmdelete. The command executed successfully. Let's check the result in Active Directory Users and Computers. We had three users with msftwebcast.local UPN suffix. Let's go back to Active Directory Users and Computers. Click on Refresh and let's see the user principal name of our user Pranjal Sharma. You can see it is set to msftwebcast.in. 
We can check same for Rahul Nair. It is also msftwebcast.in and this is our last user Vishal Kedia. His UPN is also msftwebcast.in. This is how you can get the list of all the users from your active directory which contains specific user principal name and then use the second command to replace the old UPN suffix to the newer one. This is how we can use the get ad user and set ad user cmd lates to change the UPN suffix for all your users at once. Next, let's talk about the Microsoft ID Fix tool. Before installing Microsoft Entra Connect and syncing on premises ad objects to Microsoft Entra ID, it is important to use Microsoft ID Fix. This tool will identify any Active Directory objects with errors and provide fixes for them. If there are no errors, you are good to go. The Microsoft ID Fix tool helps you identify and remediate object errors in Active Directory, preparing them for deployment to Microsoft Entra ID. You can then successfully synchronize users, contacts and groups from the on-premises Active Directory to Microsoft Entra ID. The first step is to install the IDFix tool. You can install it on any domain joint computer or server, but you will need read and write access to Active Directory to use the tool. You can download IDFix from Microsoft GitHub repository. Open Microsoft Edge web browser and search for IDFix tool to download. Download IDFix from GitHub. Let's click on this website. The download link is available under the Click Once section. Click on Launch to download the setup file. Let's click on Open File. It will ask you to install IDFix. Click on Install. It will only take few seconds to download this setup. This is about privacy statement. Click OK to accept it. When you open the IDFix tool, you will see a blank screen without any information on it. To check if your Active Directory objects contain any errors, we will need to query the Active Directory. Click on Query to start the IDFix tool. Here we are getting warning message that certain attributes are present in schema but not marked for application to the global catalog. So it will be not analyzed for the error. Do you want to continue? Then click Yes to continue. Let me click on Yes. Remember, we are not using on-premises exchange in this demonstration. In our case, there are no errors. If there are errors, it will show the Active Directory object with the error. Go to the AD object with the error and adjust the value. After fixing the errors, again click on Query. Verify that the list is empty and then you are good to go. In our case, we can see the list is empty. That means now we are good to go. A local Active Directory is now ready to begin directory synchronization with Microsoft Entra ID. In the next video, we will install the Microsoft Entra Connect Sync tool on this domain controller to synchronize on premises Active Directory objects to the Microsoft Entra ID. That's all for this video on how to prepare a non-routable domain for Microsoft Entra Connect Sync. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.